low. It's the, um, the therapist on wheels. Um, I just wanted to create um, this video for um, individuals or drivers who are picking up individuals who might have disabilities. Um, um, and this just recently happened where um, I had a rider who hopped in the car. Um, you know, I had a little trouble finding where their location was, but finally he, you know, he texted and told me exactly where he was. Um, and then when he got in the car and I asked him how his day was, he didn't respond. He just looked out the window. So I thought, okay, maybe he didn't hear me. So I asked him again, you know, how's everything going? And he still didn't respond. Now, in most cases, what will happen is the ride will become very awkward and silent because you think the person is ignoring you. Um, but that wasn't the case. Um, automatically, because I have worked with individuals who have disabilities, I knew that um, he had probably, you know, some sort of um, probably either a learning disability or maybe even a physical disability. And sure enough, when he got out the car, he was hearing impaired. And um, he thanked me with the gesture like that. And, and I knew that, uh, you know, instead of getting upset, angry, or feeling awkward, I understood immediately that he was probably hard of hearing and couldn't hear me. And that was the case, was that he was deaf. And um, a lot of times you'll get riders that might be hearing impaired who can't hear you, but they can still use the, you know, the ride share apps like Lyft and Uber to be able to get around. And it's a lot easier for them actually because the, the apps, the Uber and the Lyft apps are very visual. So for them, it's very easy for them to use these devices, even as opposed to calling a taxi, because to call a taxi, you have to be able to hear, right? So Uber and Lyft is very beneficial for people with disabilities. Um, and I just want everybody, you know, who's doing ride share uh, to, to understand that you will at times get people with disabilities and you're gonna have to act accordingly and adjust how you interact with them. Um, a lot of times, what you'll have to do is you'll have to actually like turn your head and look at them directly to make sure that they understand or you know are, are, that you're speaking to them you know sometimes your voice is not going to be able to communicate everything that you would like to let the rider know um that is entering your vehicle so um i just wanted to make that quick video for you know everyone who has you know maybe started this or who has been doing this a long time and then encountered someone who they had the awkward interaction with because of a disability, okay? So just make sure you, um, you know, uh, you, when you're doing this, you're gonna encounter such a wide variety of people um, and don't think that everyone is gonna be with it. You know, you might even get someone who is just so, in so much pain, they're going to the hospital or, you know, someone uh, is just very stressed out, you know? You get people with all different types of emotions. And the last thing you want to be is a reactive driver. Um, what I mean by that is you react to everybody's emotion that hops in your car. Okay. Um, you have to be calm. And I, I'll probably make that a separate video and talk a little bit more about that. But um, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and this is the Therapist on Wheels. Uh, make sure you keep tuning in. Okay. Thanks.